Well, here we go again, traveling again. You know what, this is like a combination of last week being on the cruise, because I was walking, 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 and uh, when I was flying before, I'm back in the Atlanta airport right now. I've got three hours to wait until my connecting flight. And uh, I, you know what, there's a gazillion restaurants here, but what I do is pack my own food. So I'm gonna take you on a tour through my bag. <laughs> You can see what I what I bring with me. I've got I've got my purse. Okay, so my purse, and then I've got this cute little tote there with puppies on it, which is really cute. And I've got my 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 pillow for on the plane. You know what? I didn't sleep at all last night, and I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I literally did not sleep last night. I had a conference call for a committee that I'm on at 8.30, and it, it it was too much, you know, being at that time, because then you're, you know, your brain's thinking, and I'm thinking about emails, and I started sending out emails, and by the time I went to go to bed, I was like wide awake, and my adrenaline was running, and I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't sleep. I, and then, um, you know, I'd toss and turn, toss and turn, and I checked the clock and it was an hour later, you know, you get up, get a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever. And I tried reading. Oh, it was just one of those nights. So I actually got a little rest on the plane coming from Syracuse down here to Atlanta. I probably slept for about an hour. And then um, now I don't dare fall asleep now waiting for the plane to come because I might miss it. <laughs> so. So I'm talking to you guys, but okay, so here's what I'm bringing, what I've got in my tote bag. I already ate my oatmeal. You know, I'm, I'm like clean oatmeal now, but I had this nice little container of oatmeal. And I, I made that this morning at four before we left. I I had most, most of this, as you've noticed, like on the, on the cruise, I have greens for breakfast. I just stick my oatmeal on the greens. What's the difference? It's just like rice. So, because um, I, I don't eat a sweet oatmeal. It's very uh, neutral, M much like just having rice. So I eat most of my greens. I will, I will finish those up in my lunch salad. Let me see what else. Oh, I already had an apple this morning. I've got another apple ready to go. And I packed, what, oh, here's a yummy looking salad. Hang on. Here's, I don't know if you can see that. It's got, um, it's got yellow pepper and beets and cucumber and just a, a lot of, it's, it's a mixed greens lettuce that I use. It's got uh, Swiss chard and baby kale and something else in there, I forget, probably spinach. And, uh, and I, I didn't want to use a, a juicy dressing because you know how they don't like you to have liquid when you come through the, uh, the, uh, the inspection you know the safety the security and, and you know what I always get pulled aside anyway because I've got all this weird stuff in my bag and they go oh it's organic which the first time they ever said that to me I thought wow how'd they know it was organic and I'm thinking like versus pesticides you know organic they meant organic as in like it's not a mineral <laughs> it's <was> organic <laughs> But I was so amazed that he could tell on his scanner that I had organic bread. <laughs> so, but anyhow, they, they pulled it aside. They always have to see. And now, and now I've got so much interesting stuff in there. The guys are always like, oh, I, I could eat that. And I'm like, yeah, I bet you could. You're not gonna. Oh, on the plane they gave us, we had a choice of Cheez-Its, cookies, or or a granola bar and this is the kind brand with dark chocolate chunk which I won't be eating but I took it anyway just so I could share it with my cousin I'm catching up with my cousins later today so I thought oh somebody can eat it hey I paid for it I'm taking it and oh and I brought I brought some Sonoma Sonoma organic uh, corn tortillas, and I think this is like nothing in there but corn, and they're, they're they're a little bit of lime in there with them, and they're not the tastiest, 
And they're not the greatest texture. These things, I heated them in the oven and they're they're like, they're like, they're like rocks now. And it's, it's not even crispy like a chip. <laughs> but it, it, you know what, they're like leather. And they give me something to chew on or, or to scoop with, you know, if I have something scoopy. Oh, you know what else is on my salad is beans. I made a really good batch of beans yesterday. And it's with the beans that I got when I went down to Georgia. It's those, um, what are those funny? Mayo, Mayo Coba beans. And uh, the English term for it is canary. And they're a lot like a, like a cross between a pinto and a calaloni bean, like a white kidney bean. They're, they're like a cross between the two. They, they have a really nice soft texture and they, um, taste a lot like refried beans, but they don't, they, they taste like refried beans, even though they don't have fat in them. You know, you didn't have to put in pork lard or whatever they put in there, um, to make them taste the way they do, but they taste really good without the fat. So I, uh, cooked up a bunch of those yesterday and I made a, a dressing for them with, uh, cilantro, garlic, and hippo soup. And I put the Hippocrates soup in the blender, about a cup of it, and with a whole bunch of cilantro and a couple cloves of garlic and really pureed the daylights out of it. And then just stirred that into my beans. Beans really tasty. That's actually a recipe. It's a Southwestern recipe or Mexican recipe? Maybe, oh, it's Peruvian. It's a Peru, because they're actually Peruvian beans. And it's called ahi, A-J-I, ahi, ahi sauce for the beans. And I like it, you know, I like finding this stuff that we can have this from different countries. It gives you something different to taste. So ahi beans. Now I've got my, I've got my jug of water, quart of water, so I'm making sure I get my water down. And I, I think that's it. Oh, you know what I've got in here? Let's see if you, okay. Anybody, anybody know why I've got, um, it's kind of a rough looking lemon, but here, why I've got a cut lemon in a bag with me? Anyone want to guess why I have lemons with me? Somebody's going to know the answer to that one. All right, I guess that's it. If I could, if I could get a baked potato at some point today, that would be nice. I would, I would like a nice fresh baked potato, but, um, I'm, I'm going to be good with my salad. You know, when your system's off, you know, getting no sleep and being up all night, I feel goofy. And uh, it makes me feel hungry. And I have to admit that a salad just isn't going to do it right now. I feel like I need something, something warm and comforting. Just, that's just because I'm tired. That's just because I'm tired. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking a little break right here because there's no plane going here and there's a few seats. But um, what I'm going to do is just keep walking up and down the hallway because I'm going to be sitting in a plane for three more hours and I'd rather I'd rather be walking it feels good to walk so that's it I just wanted to stop and say hi to you guys and saying I'm on the road again and I'll be going back home I get in late Monday night um, like midnight Chris has to pick me up but I'm I'm heading actually to Albuquerque for a funeral and uh I'm going to see a lot of family while I'm out there, so, um, which will be nice to see the family. This is the, the same place that we went back in November, so that's it. Just catching up. Talk to you later. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.